everyone! Welcome to Animal Crossing! Today I wanted to give a little tour of my island before I started renovating it again because I'm getting ready to just tear it all down and start over. Um, I'm going to include the design codes down in the description for any of the cute custom designs I decided to use because there are a lot of really cute ones out there. And we're gonna start here at the airport because if you come and visit me this is where you would end up and we're also going to start here in my little like commercial district before we move on to the residential area where all of my villagers live so when you first get out of the airport you end up here at the fountain area it's very cute and i like it a lot there's a little sitting area on either side along with my diy stands for anybody who needs some extra diys and then we come over here to the beach. I have two of the workout characters, so I wanted to make sure that they had a nice little place to work out. And then if we go down this road, we end up at my wrapping stand where I wrap all of my villagers' gifts in their cute wrapping paper and the honey area for fresh honey because I love bees and I wanted to make a honey stand. Then over here is the library complete with fake statue of David. It's very cute and relaxing. Then over here is the gift shop. So anybody who wants to come and visit me can take one of the millions and millions of things that I gather that either I already have or don't want. This is my flower shop, including one of my favorite QR codes that I've found yet, and it's this cushion that they turned into a bag of potting soil. This is a little snack vending machine area that's right next to the plaza on this side. So anybody can come over here and hang out and sit on the benches and enjoy just the pretty day. Here is a little picnic area next to the waterfall and next to the little flower garden. There's my cosmos there and then my rose gardens on this side. And back down here we have the Able Sisters complete with two of my favorite QR codes that I've found. This is the plaza, complete with Kix visiting. On this side, we have Nook's Cranny, of course, and my carnival. I really, really like this area. I think it turned out very cute. Down here on the beach, we have it set up for a wedding with my pretty entrance here. I was pretty excited about the wedding event that came in because I was able to make this area much more fancy and pretty. Then we have Aurora walking around with her net by the bakery. This might be my favorite little spot right now. I love the way that it turned out. Behind the bakery, we have the doctor's office because every island needs a doctor's office. Why wouldn't you have one of those? Behind it, we have my cafe arcade area that extends all the way out here to the beach as well. Still working on expanding this and getting some more games, but I like it for the most part. This is the area that's on the opposite side of that snack machine area. It's got my, it's got Benjamin, and it's got my workbench and a telephone booth so that I can build things and call home, apparently. This is still under construction. I've been getting lots of gold patterns, but this is my little throne room area. Over here is the swimming pool, complete with its own private beach. And then... We have the lighthouse, which I think turned out very really cute. It's small and simple on this little alcove over here. 
then we have a fountain area here in front of this waterfall. You can't see it too well, that's part of the reason why I want to renovate. But I like the waterfall and I like the fountain on the island. It needs a little bit of work. This is my beachside cafe that's right next to the campsite and I have a visitor today that I haven't gone to see yet. So I'll have to do that in a little bit. Up the stairs here is my Rose Garden Cafe. It's a part of this cafe, but you can come upstairs and enjoy in the beautiful Rose Garden. This is my museum, which I'm very excited about. I have a stack of things right there to donate. It's at the top of the waterfall. I've got a gift shop on this side with the T-Rex over here, looking all amazing. And on this side, I have another gift shop with my giant Alexandra butterfly and a woolly mammoth. Then down here, we're gonna start into the residential area. This is Sterling's house. He is a knight that is also an eagle who likes to work out. So this is his house next to Boots, the alligator, who also likes to work out, so I decided to make them neighbors. Then up here, this is my house and my little area. So this is my cute little house with my lawn gnomes and my matching little library. This is my orchard. The fruit is all back here. This is my money tree area. And down here is where Red comes to visit. I keep back here, hidden behind this fence, a bunch of supplies and materials so that I don't have to keep going back inside my house every time I want to build something. This is my little workbench area that I decorated up to look a little bit more like a working area, complete with a silo and a farm and a hay bale bed. And then again, my favorite potting soil QR code. And then this is my trash area, all of my hydrangeas here, and then we're gonna go back down, mm, yeah, we're gonna go back down this way so that I can show you this side of the residential area. We're gonna run, we're gonna ignore that balloon, so here starts this part of the residential area. We'll start with this beach where I have a little juice bar and the actual beach area with bonfire and chill area and changing area. It's next to the pier. And then we have Twiggy's house hanging out back here. Twiggy is a chicken that wants to be a pop star. So she has all the cute things and pink and flamingos and bubblegum KK playing everywhere. She of course has her own private area on the beach. Behind Twiggy, we have Plucky, the chicken's house. She is a little more country, I guess. So I gave her the weaving loom and a couple of other more craft things because I love those things and I wanted them to be out on the actual outside of the island so that I can see them and enjoy them. So I put them in her house. Behind her house, we have the playground. This is Chief walking around. He's the newest addition to my island. I like him. So the playground has its little area. And then I have the school here on the beach side, complete with Scary Skeleton Man. We'll pretend this is an anatomy class with math on the chalkboard. Then here is Benjamin's area of the beach and Benjamin's house. Benjamin's the little dog that likes bugs. So I put an ant farm and a couple of other things in here. When I redo the island, I will probably add a bunch of the fun things that Flick gave you from the bug off to Benjamin's yard, and I'm pretty excited about it. 
This is the newest area that I just started. It's a little mermaid beach. And now that the uh, Pascal update with all of the mermaid furniture and stuff is in the game, I'm pretty excited to add it to this little area. And back here, still un under construction, will be my lunar landing area with telescope and all the space stuff that Celeste gives you. Now, we're gonna go back over here. I left out poor Megan's house. This is Megan's house. She's a teddy bear that likes to read. And I kind of love her. Her little house has always been my favorite. It's the cutest. So when I redo this, I might make her area a little bit bigger so that I can decorate it up a little bit more. Up these stairs, we have Rooney's house. I don't like Rooney. I'm trying to get him off my island. So his house is currently where I'm storing all of my flowers. And then this is Chief's house where Chief just moved in. I'm just now decorated it up. He likes like 1950s rock stuff. So I've been trying to find some things to add to his yard that go along with that. Over here is the bridge back to my house. I have my personal waterfall there and all of my flowers. And then upstairs, we are going to visit my last two villagers, which is Aurora, who is the little penguin that was walking around the beach. She has the same personality as Megan. She likes books and sewing and things of that nature. So I put a sewing machine in her yard and some painting things and a little kettle. And then on this side, we have Yuka, who is a koala and Rooney is currently in her hammock for whatever reason. If you notice presents in front of everybody's houses, I wrap all of my villagers gifts in wrapping paper that match their either house or their personality or something like that so I can keep it straight and keep it organized and then I drop it all in front of their house so I don't forget to give it to them. And then back here is my Zen garden. I also have this little observation area that's very cute when the sky is actually clear and pretty. And over here is this pretty little Zen bridge. I wanted to incorporate this somehow and this was the best I could think of at the time because I had such a small area. So I might change that up a little bit. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do entirely with the new set, but this is what it looks like right now. It is still kind of cute. Pretty happy with that overall. But that's my Zen garden. And that is my island. That is Ember Isle. So I hope you all liked it. I am pretty fond of the way that it looks right now, but I'm really excited for a change and to do something new. So thanks you guys for watching. I appreciate you visiting my island. If you like this video, please sure to like it and leave me a comment and I'll see you all next time. Bye!